We got a ton of rain here lately. I was just driving by this meadow here. We got some beautiful horse mushrooms growing here. Pick these boys. Look at those. Monsters. These are a little early, but we had so much rain that they're popping. There's everywhere here. That one's a little big. This one's met. Look at this big mature one here. It'll have these pinkish gills, but the young ones will just be kind of creamy whitish gray. But it's a nice mature one. All right, now we gotta run for it. Yeah, so there aren't too many mushrooms that I'll slam on the brakes and uh, pull over and grab, but this is definitely one of them. Uh, so this is these are horse mushrooms. Uh, this is Agaricus arvensis, and these are some of my favorite wild mushrooms to eat, these wild Agaricus mushrooms. Um, this is the most mature cap that I picked here. You can see it's kind of starting to get like a pinkish tone to it. When these get overly mature, they'll actually be a dark chocolate brown, just like the portobellas you would buy in a store. Um, so I'm going to go through cleaning some of these. It's really common for these to have bugs in the stems. Um, so usually you end up snapping the stems off. Usually the caps are okay, especially when you get them young. Now you need to be really careful because there are some white mushrooms that grow in the grass that will kill you dead. So you have to be very careful in terms of identification. Um, these have this really heavy veil you can see right here that breaks loose from the cap as they expand. And uh, right now on this young mushroom, the gills are a very faint pink, whitish pink color. Um, and then you can see the progression here. They'll go to uh, a darker pink and then eventually to that chocolate brown. So this is Agaricus arvensis. And I can see this one down here definitely has some bugs in the stem. So I want to show you guys this. So when you snap these off from the ground and you see that right there that kind of yellowish color in the bottom of the stem that means you got fungus fly larva going up through the stem so what you want to do is uh just take a knife i'll show you guys here we'll cut at the base and that's looking pretty clean right there so it looks like looks like they're just right in the base of the stem now if you saw some more yellowish brown color going up here through the stem i would keep trimming up and maybe even snap the stem completely off until uh you make sure you get rid of all those uh fungus fly larvae that are crawling around in there because you don't want those but uh this is a good one to learn because uh, they're pretty common at least in the northeast, uh, they start in midsummer, usually after heavy rain, which is where we're at right now. And um, they're more common even later into the season, like late summer, August into September. I would say around here they're most common in September. Usually grassy fields, or they seem to really like to grow around spruce trees too. It's real common to find them around spruce. So but definitely be careful. Make sure you know your identification. This is Agaricus arvensis.